so we're moving it around and honestly for this being so lightweight it's not as tippy as i thought it would be Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Amazon Basics 50 inch tripod. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this tripod, or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging as you've come to expect from Amazon Basic items. We basically just have a sticker letting us know what's in the box. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the tripod. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our nice zippered carrying bag with with strap followed by the tripod itself with the Amazon Basics logo and branding. Collapse, this tripod's gonna be 16.5 inches, but it can extend up to 50 inches. Now let's go ahead, let's go over some of the controls on the tripod. So the first thing we're gonna do is we can loosen the handle right here to then rotate and tip the camera in whatever direction we want. And then we just twist it in righty tighty to tighten it in place. You may notice on the left side right here, we can go ahead, we can loosen this. And now we can rotate 360 degrees, the whole head at the top. Then we can tighten that back in. Then we have another knob down here we can loosen. This is gonna allow us to adjust the height right here. And then we can just fasten that in place. Again, righty tighty wherever we want it. If you're wondering about the support and weight supported with the tripod, up to 4.4 pounds, but you're not gonna to want to exceed that. And then lastly, up here, we have just a spring-loaded connector, so then we can thread this onto our cameras or our equipment, and then it just locks right back in place. You may notice too, we have the ability with this knob over here to loosen or tighten how we see fit. So there's a lot of flexibility with this tripod and what we're able to control. You also may notice we have a built-in level on it as well, which is a nice touch, especially for a tripod at this price point. And then we have our three adjustable legs right here that just snap and lock in place. This is how we're gonna get to 50 inches using all of those legs fully extended. So I have the tripod fully extended here. Check it out. This thing is so lightweight but we have it fully extended. Now let's go ahead, let's take our tape measure. Let's see, are we actually 50 inches off the ground? And we're on a shag rug and carpet right here. So let's see, we're showing 50 inches right here. So technically it looks like 50 and a quarter inch to the very top. And then to the very top of our threaded connector, I'd say that's probably 50 and a half inches. So we are well within range as advertised. Now let's go ahead, let's get a camera installed and try it out on the tripod. So we have a Sony a7C installed on the tripod. The first thing I want to show you with the camera like this, and honestly with the weight of this tripod itself, if you're going to extend out the top neck right here, you will notice there is a wiggle. So if you can see that there is a give to this top piece due to just having so much weight up at the top versus closer to the base. But watch what happens if I lower this down. Even just halfway, it's gonna make a difference. So there's still a wiggle, but it's not as noticeable. And then obviously we can have it all the way down and it's gonna be way better. This supports this camera's weight just fine because again, we're under the 4.4 pound limit. Now let's go ahead, let's just move it around a little bit. So we're moving it around, no big deal. Let's go ahead, let's tip it up and down. All right, that's pretty cool. And then again, we can take this, if we wanted to have it all the way out here, we could do something like that, right? Tighten it in place. Let's do about halfway, see if it can hold the weight of it. All right, there we go. And honestly, for this being so lightweight, it's not as tippy as I thought it would be. So I thought this would be a pretty tippy tripod. Um, but you know, not too bad given how lightweight and affordable this tripod is. And we can bring it all the way back. And I did notice what I like about this design. So you can see the level still, they put it on the side. So we have a nice visual indicator. Our equipment's not going to block it. So in this case, I'd be like, oh, we got to tip this back up. All right, there we go. We're now within the level range that I wanted. So maybe you can see that right in there. Pretty cool. So that is useful, even if you have a camera 
on the tripod. So it's pretty amazing to me that you can even buy a working and functioning tripod at this price point. I'm very happy with all the features that we get. Having the built-in level is a nice touch. Are there better tripods out there? One hundred percent, but they're going to cost a whole lot more. So if you're looking for a tripod to have a camera stationary on, you're just going to basically set it and forget about it. This is going to be a perfect cost effective solution for you. Should this be your main tripod day in and day out as a professional photographer or videographer? No way, but that's not who this is marketed towards. Do you wanna maybe have this in your arsenal and toolkit if you are a professional for a secondary or third camera or something like that? You bet.